getting into this world of social media, you realize how easy it is to kind of portray yourself any way that you want. Um, So I remember, I mean, there have been times when, like one time I was filming a bunch of B-roll and I was crying in between the B-rolls because I was having Mm. an awful day. But when you see the B-roll online, I wasn't showing my face because I was just like very sad. It's just like me walking around casually, but I had to get the B-roll that day because I was on a deadline. Yeah. But it's like, you don't, you don't know that. You don't know that I'm feeling like shit. Can I say yeah. that? Yeah, um, you can say that. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know that I'm feeling like shit that day or, you know, whatever. It's so easy to portray yourself just in any way you want. And that's kind of scary when you think about it. Yeah. Um, it's not the truth, but it's what, like, you, basically you get to shape your identity or what you share online. And there's, there could be a whole different story behind the scenes. For sure. Yeah. And I think it's good for people to be aware of that. And also uh, be aware of the fact that, you know, we all have our own style of video and aesthetic, if you will. So, you know, generally speaking, I like the more moody kind of slow down uh, music choices and color grading and all of that. And it's kind of like a movie where if you see that you're, going to assume that this is something that's going to be a bit sad or whatever, unhappy or depressed or anything like that. So, you know, pay or be aware that like as a viewer, that it's a lot of it comes down to just the aesthetic. Like I could be saying the exact same thing, but changing the color grading, changing the music. And all of a sudden it's like, oh, this is like a very happy, you know, upbeat kind of video. And then you change the music and some of the shots and the colors. And all of a sudden you're like, ooh, this is deep. So, you know, I mean, (laughs) film is an art. 